Hey guys, Lydia is helping me out. I'm doing a little video. Okay, let me turn this off. It's getting hot in here. Um, I just measured out. You can come in a little closer here, hon. I measured out a bunch of these. Uh, they're all about one pound, five ounces. So I cut it up, and then I'm gonna wedge each piece into a little clay ball here. So come in close. You can uh, see that it's kind of like bread making. This is called a chrysanthemum wedge. Um, I'm okay at this, but you could, if you go online, you can see people do amazing chrysanthemum wedges, where it's kind of like these um, these little folds in there. It gets the um, clay molecules kind of into a spiral so it's easier to throw. So I have an order for about 30 mugs to go up to New Hampshire with my music, musical animals on them. So starting the order now. I'll keep you posted. This is kind of the time of day I get started on the on the wheel, usually after the girls have gone to bed. Just finished a nice game of Parcheesi. No one won, because that's a really long game, apparently. <laughs> so. so these are going to be like 12 ounce mugs. So, I haven't thrown for a while. It's kind of nice to be back at it. It just takes, it, I don't know, it, like, I gotta really, like, be in the m mindset for it. I don't know why it's so hard for me to, like, get there mentally. I guess it's like any kind of creative venture. But, all right, I'm just centering now. But it's pretty good. I'm gonna go down near the bottom. Don't want to get too thin at the bottom and then I'm gonna open up. And then compress the floor so it doesn't crack. First pull up, and compress the rim again, so I make these a little bit bigger um, than what they're going to look like because they shrink a lot actually as the moisture is um, basically burned off in the kiln, the clay shrinks down as the uh, water molecules leave. So then you just have the clay molecules in there together. So I'm going to do my third pull, it'll be the last one. clean it up and I have this um, plastic rib that helps kind of smooth the edge on the outside. It kind of gets rid of any um, imperfections. And I can also use it to um, reshape it a little if I wanted. So I've tried to make these animal mugs um, different shapes, like slightly rounded, out like a belly, and it's just really difficult to put the decal on when it's not like flat. Just going to get the water out of the bottom here and then it'll be done. A little 
little spiral up there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. All right, a little more of an undercut so that the wire tool can get under there pretty easily. Oops, it's over here. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, and I forgot. I got my chamois here. I'm just gonna make the rim really nice and smooth with the chamois. Okay, I'm going to pull the wire underneath while it's moving slightly. And that way I can just pull it right off. And there's this cool little like spiral under the mug. I don't know if you can see. Probably not, but anyway, there's a cool spiral there. Okay, one down and, uh, you know, 29 to go. It's all good. All right, here's some more progress. I uh, made these last night. They're uh, waiting for handles. There's 12 there. I admit that I uh, got distracted by Saturday Night Live videos on YouTube, so I sat at my wheel last night not making things, but on the interwebs, I'm sad to say. So today I just made a few more, uh, those guys. And I still have some more to make. That's a different kind of clay, so I wanted to show you a little bit more about um, just kind of what I do. Um, I'm gonna make these little carrots to make the handles. So um, basically, I did the chrysanthemum wedge there, and then there's so many different ways to make handles, but I'm just going to kind of rock it onto the edge there and then pound it down, and that'll elongate. See, it's already getting longer. Okay, so there you go. Okay, just saying, looks like somebody uh, stepped on my mugs last night. Luckily, only two, maybe three. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna make some handles by pulling. So it's kind of like milking a cow, I guess. I'm not a farmer, but I think when I went to Larry Land Farms when I was five, this is how they showed us how to milk a cow. So you can already see it stretching out. I try to pay attention to the um, um, the rim of the mug. The thickness of the rim will kind of like help me gauge how uh, thick I want to do the handle. Not always, but that's kind of what I learned at Greenbridge. That's how they do it. But. The world of clay is opening up before me, and I'm realizing there's so many different ways to do things. So, it's almost a crisis of faith in the pottery world. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? There's so many different ways to do it. But, um, so there's a handle. I mean, it's a big one, but I can cut this into like three handles. <laughs> so. I'll just lay that down and then begin again. So I gotta make, let's see, 12, 21 of these. I have two carrots. We'll see if I can do it. <laughs> so I got my mug. I kind of finished the bottom edge a little bit just actually by rolling it on a hard surface like that it gives it a nice um, kind of smooth edge on the bottom on the corner so it doesn't um, chip off or damage anybody's countertop and then I've got the little handle here it's stiff not super it could be a little harder but we'll just see how it goes and then I'll take a little tool here because right now it's pretty 
um, straight and the mug is curved so I'm going to just kind of hit this slightly to give it a curved shape and then same thing on this side so it's more like like a smile see and then kind of like gluing it on but this stuff I have mixed up it's basically this clay and I added water and stirred it with a soup blender an immersion blender and then just kind of getting the glue on there or slip as they like to say and then just gonna let's see yeah and I shove it on there kind of wiggle it a little bit and get any of the goo out of the middle and then make sure I put this on straight It's like trying to find the fine line of like what is perfection because if we wanted something that was like everyone was the same just go to Target and buy one. So I try to give each mug a little personality. So there's the handle but it still has kind of some goo on there um, around the edge there so then I take a brush and uh, just kind of wipe that away if I left it on there it would just kind of harden like the rest of the clay and then it, you would see it so I want to get rid of that and later as it dries I might compress the clay at that juncture a little bit more with a needle tool so anyway trying something new there's the handle Do -do -do. don't want to really put a lot of can't hold it by there yet it's still kind of wiggly so yep there it is pretty cool right now I just have, you know, 20 more to do. Here I just wanted to give you an update. I'm about to put these puppies into the kiln. You saw me make them. They've been drying under plastic for a few days and now um, I let them air dry completely. So, um, yep, I'm going to put them in the kiln for the first firing.